And welcome to FreeZone Video Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to install WordPress through the control panel, Plesk 11. First, you'll need to log into your control panel via the FreeZone website. Once here, please click Applications located at the tabs along the top. Once here, you'll see a list of featured applications in which you should see WordPress. If not, please click All Available Applications and find it in the list. Once you have found it, please click the Install button located just below WordPress. It will now ask you to confirm the license agreement for WordPress. This isn't a free zone agreement, so please read through this carefully and click I accept at the bottom if you do accept the terms of agreement. Once you have done this, please click next. You will now be prompted for some details of your WordPress installation. First you need to select the domain and the directory you want the WordPress installation to be installed on. I'm putting my installation on radon.jabazone.co.uk and in a folder called Website New. You will now need to select Credentials to log into your WordPress site now. I'm going to use Administrative Credentials not connected to any particular user. This means I can create a username and password for this account and have it individual and not related to any of the control panel. You will then need to click the install button at the bottom and after a short while your WordPress will be installed in the same directory that you've chosen above with the credentials that you have set. To confirm that your WordPress has been installed successfully you should see the green bar along the top which says this. To access into your WordPress site there will be a button saying administrative interface. Please click on this as shown in the video. It will now take you onto a new page with a continue button. Please click on the continue button and it will ask you if you want to send your details to WordPress so it automatically logs you on to the control panel. Please click continue to do this. You will now be taken into the dashboard of WordPress and here you can make changes to your website, upload themes, plugins or even pages or posts. To learn more about WordPress, please click on the description box found underneath this video and it will take you to another video tutorial on how to use WordPress features.